This is everything you need to know about pickleball spin serves in 2022 and beyond. Yes, beyond. If there's any more news about spin serves that contradicts something I'm about to say in this video, I'll leave a note in the description of this YouTube video. Earlier today, the PPA announced that they were disallowing all spin serves on the PPA Tour starting in 2022. If you don't know, the PPA is the Pro Pickleball Association, and their Pro Tour is the premier tour that all of the top pickleball pros play in. This means that if you are playing in the professional division at a PPA event, you are not allowed to spin the ball during the release immediately before your serve. But this does not apply to pretty much everybody watching this video. If you're playing in any non-professional PPA pickleball game, including the games at this same event but in the amateur division, then you are totally fine to use a one-handed spin serve. This was confirmed by my friend and professional referee Matthew Cross, as well as this Facebook post from Don Stanley who is another professional pickleball referee. This is now the second rule that is completely different for professionals playing on the PPA tour. The other of which is that they replay let serves even though literally any other pickleball game in the entire world doesn't use that rule. It's worth noting that tournament directors and league organizers can change the rules at their events. So if you're playing in a tournament or a league, they should make it very clear beforehand if they're not planning on using the official USA Pickleball rulebook. Speaking of which, I also managed to get early access to the 2022 rule change document, which includes all the juicy details that you want to know about our beloved one-handed spin serve. This document includes the amendments and the rationale behind every change to the official USA Pickleball rulebook, which is pretty much the standard for every pickleball game ever. Here's the exact verbiage of the new rule. The server shall only use one hand to release the ball to perform the serve. If the ball is visibly spun by the server during the release, the parts of the hand contacting the ball must be bare. The server's release of the ball must be visible to the referee and the receiver. A replay shall be called before the return of serve if the release of the ball is not visible or if the referee cannot discern whether an item on the hand contacted a visibly spun ball. So let's break this down. You can only use one hand to spin the ball. It doesn't matter which hand it is, Theoretically, you could use your right hand to spin the ball, pass the paddle from your left hand to your right hand, initiate the serve, and that's totally fine as long as you only used one hand to spin the ball. Since the parts of the hand that are contacting the ball must be bare, that means that you can't use a band-aid or a glove or any other material on the fingers that are imparting the spin. They did mention that theoretically, you could wear a glove and then cut away the material from the fingers that are actually in contact with the ball, and they also said that a reasonable amount of lotion or sunscreen or anything like that, perfectly fine. Next, the release of the ball must be perfectly clear to the receiver as well as the referee. Notice they said the release of the ball. If you can see the release but don't know how to read the spin, then that's your fault. So if you get aced because you can't properly read spin serves, then you're not allowed to call a replay as long as the ball was visible. Also, I think it's interesting that it states that the receiver must see the ball, but it doesn't mention that their teammate must also see the ball. We're looking at you, Austin Gridley. Their rationale is pretty solid too. Basically, they said that since 1965, when pickleball was first played, there were no restrictions on pre-spin before the serve, and that the chainsaw serve was a loophole that was created only because of the new rules that were instated to fight the spread of COVID. They also mentioned that they can't just write a rule that says no spin is allowed on the toss because there will always be some form of rotational velocity. They also feel that putting a table tennis style open handed serve would be a bridge too far to cross at this time because millions of people would have to change how they serve, which is pretty interesting to think about. The 100,000 of you legends that watched my serving technique video and added it to your own game has the potential to change the game of pickleball for millions of people, and it probably will. My guess is that in 2023, we will see some variation of the drop serve being the only legal serve. And I say that because I may or may not have been working on a non-spin serve that literally bounces off the ground about three inches. If you want to see that video, make sure that you're subscribed. If you want to learn how to do my variation of the spin serve while it's still here, then I have two videos on that topic. If you want to learn how to return the spin serve, then I recommend checking out this video by the Pickleball Mafia. And if you want to learn how to do the Morgan Evans style of the one-handed spin serve, then my friend Chris Olson over at the Pickleball Studio is releasing the ultimate guide to one-handed pickleball spin serves. 
All of those links will be in the description of this YouTube video. Finally, I would really appreciate it if you share this video with your friends and family that play pickleball, or otherwise we're going to have a lot of misinformed people on the courts come January 1st. If this was helpful for you, please leave a like, and I'm sure there will be plenty of discussion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.